Hello, dear viewer or viewers. Um, I just wanted to uh, a vlog. Um, oops. I wasn't sure exactly what to say. Um, so I figured I'd just kind of ramble. Um, hopefully you can hear me over the air going on. The air is on right now. It's kind of hot out, so I turn that on just to help cool things off in here. I had the windows open, and uh, it was still hot. <laughs> so it's one of them days, I guess. Um, I also live in a trailer, so insulation's not the greatest. So when it gets hot in here, it gets hot. Um, anyways, so I have been watching a lot of videos um, people talking about about life, um, talking about just um, the realities of life, you know. I feel like I gravitate more towards those kinds of people. Um, so I've been liking a lot of their videos. Um, this is one older guy that I watch a lot in the mornings when I first wake up. I like to watch, I'm weird like that, when I first wake up. I like to watch videos that are very calming and still kind of engaging, uh, but a little bit calmer. I don't like to, you know, turn on some some video where this guy's like very energetic and, um, you know, re yells in the video. I'm I'm the type of person when I get up in the morning, I I like to I like things to be kind of calm. Um, so I've been getting into that habit a lot, and it's the same goes for night. At night, I usually watch ASMR videos at night to kind of go to sleep and stuff, or help me go to sleep. Sometimes it doesn't work, but most of the time it does. But anyways, um, I've been trying to get into the habit of making ASMR videos once a week, um, at least try to get one uploaded m every Monday or so. It's going to be getting tough because I've been putting in applications and I have a, an interview tomorrow with this cleaning company. It's just a virtual one, so I'll just be, look, luckily I won't have to go anywhere. I'll just, you know, I can, I can just do it, like, through a Zoom thing or something, a Zoom call, and, um, then I have one Monday. I was supposed to start a job, a driving job Monday. Um, but I don't know. I'm starting to think that I'm not sure if I want to go through with that one because I feel like I would have to wake up at like 4 in the morning, 3.30, 4 in the morning. And it takes me a while to wake up anyways. And I have to be at the job site by like 5 o'clock in the morning. And then it's a split shift, so I would be driving. Well, the job is I would be driving people around in a van or a small bus. And, uh, you know, college students or disabled people. And I would do the first part from 5 in the morning to like 11 30, 11, 11 30 in the afternoon. And then I would have a couple hours for a break and then start again around 1 and then work until 5 p.m. Um, and the pay isn't great either. It's only like 13 an hour. So there's a bunch of things that added up and I keep thinking thinking in my head, you know, it's, it's not going to work out. Um, I would like, I mean, I thought about maybe doing that just for, just for the experience of having a driving job and 
you know, just going from there because I do want to do delivery driving eventually, you know, like a box truck driving and stuff like that. Um, but I don't know. I'd, I don't know if I want to go through with that one. I also have another job interview with this factory job. The pay is better. The hours are better. Just every... I mean, yeah, it's a manufacturing job. It's not something I want to go back to, but it's better than... It's the, really the only good option I have right now. And I would like to... You know... I would like to um, do a DOT exam and stuff, and eventually, you know, get on to doing delivery driving, but my options are few and far between right now. Um, I'm also somewhat disabled, so I don't really have much of a choice in, in the matter, um, other than picking what I can get. Um, but I am so happy. Despite all of that, I'm so happy that I'm getting more people interested in my channel. And I'm thankful for you, the viewers, and you, the subscribers, that are sticking with me and watching my videos. Um, so that at least keeps me, at least keeps, gives me a little bit of positivity in my life. Um, and I watched a video today, the main point of this video is... Uh, I watched this video of this guy. He reminds me a lot of myself. And, um, he was work he's working a 9-to-5 job. And, uh, he was sitting there. Just a really cool character. You know, he, <laughs> there's this one comment where he, somebody was like, Oh, look, it's John Lennon. And he looked a lot, looked a lot like John Lennon. Um, had the glasses and the, the long hair. And he had, like, this flannel shirt with his vest over. He, he looked like quite a character and he was sitting there smoking while he was doing the, the video. And he was talking about taking life slow. And, um, I realized that I think we all should be doing that. Or at least a lot of us should be. Um, those who are more serious about living a laid-back life style rather than going with the status quo and going with you know the mainstream and there's older guy that I you know the videos I watch in the morning he talks about a lot of this too but his stuff is more like spiritual kind of stuff and he talks about like a lot of the psychological spiritual side of things um, if I can, I'll provide a link to his to his channel um, and try to find that other guy's channel too. If if I think about it, but um, I just wanted to talk about about and I made a quote in the last guy's video that I just watched a little bit ago, and I it was a really good quote. I want to remember it. I kind of want to write it down because it's just it's one of those quotes that just you know, it's like, it's a, I, it's mind-opening. Um, but the quote that I was thinking, that I had put, I put it as a comment. Um, what was it again? It was, uh, when you stop, or when you stop, I wish I could just look it up. I have, you can get up, get on my phone, but I really don't want to do that. Um, okay, okay, now I, it's coming to me now. Life, life is, life makes more sense when you stop and observe. And, um, when I typed that comment, I didn't realize how deep it actually is until I thought about it, and I was like, well, yeah, um, it does make sense the more you just stop and observe, because 
when we're like go 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 and when we're like we gotta you know make this bread or we gotta you know get this money and we got we gotta get this thing and we gotta get that thing and we gotta keep up with the Joneses and it's like uh, it's very tiresome and it's very like exhausting it's very mentally exhausting um, we don't realize how much stress that can put on one person let alone many people um, it can make people depressed and I've you know I've been there just like everybody else um, been there striving for that 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 better thing that better paying job that that next thing that I wanted in my life that would I think would make me happy but in reality when I look back and I'm just like well that thing didn't make me much happier I mean maybe in the moment but the things that really make me happy anymore is spending time with family and um, making new friends and deeper connections that's what really makes me happy in life anymore I feel like I feel like I'm I kind of want to go in into a field of that you know like helping people but I don't know where to start I thought about going back to school and doing something to help with like people with trauma or like PTSD or something because of what I went through and, and my accident and stuff um I feel like maybe that maybe that would be the path that I should take and maybe it would feel more rewarding to me than working at a factory job or a dead end job where I feel like I'm, I'm just not happy I feel like you know it's just not fulfilling me spiritually and many of my past jobs were like that where I just I think that's why I I got to a point in my life where I just felt stuck. I was in this rut and I was just, it got really bad in 2019. I feel like I was going off the deep end. And I felt like, I felt like I wasn't, I didn't listen to myself spiritually and I didn't listen to my, my child self, the, the one, the guy, the, little guy deep inside of me that wanted to be something other than what I was. Um, and I feel like uh, now that I look back I was chasing chasing what everybody else was chasing. You know, the the grind, um, putting in the hours. And there's another line that I say a lot lately, is you can always make more money, but you can't make more time. And time is valuable, especially as you get older. And I'm realizing that now, it's like, I don't want to waste my time on something I'm not happy with and I'm, I end up miserable in just for just to make a few bucks that's not living that's surviving to live that's not living to survive or vice versa I don't know where I was going with that but you kind of get where I'm going Um, but yeah, like, uh, that quote that life makes more sense when you stop and observe. And the more I think about it, the more, the more that rings true. It's like, uh, it's like, uh, in a, a eureka moment, you know, it's like, it's so simple, it's like the answer is so simple, yet we pass over it many times, and we forget, 
the thing, the simple things in life. Um, it's like when I apply this quote to my past self, especially myself in 2018, 2019. I wasn't as mature as I am now, and I was in that mindset, that mainstream mindset of going to the job, going through the grinds, putting in the hours, making the money. And I look back and I'm like, I didn't stop and observe back then. I just went with my gut. Well, I didn't go with my gut, because if I had, I, I probably would be in a better place now, but... Um, I just went with the first thing, with the thing that I thought was... was the best situation back then. And while I had good intentions, it just... It just wasn't... It just wasn't what... I thought it was, and it's like, uh, it's like you're trying to make a recipe of a meal, and you think it's going to turn out a certain way, but it turns out in a completely different way, and sometimes it's pleasantly, it's pleasant surprise, sometimes it's not so pleasant. And, uh, I didn't stop and observe. I mean, I did at times, but that was only when I got back from work and my day, and I was on my days off. And I'm like, I said, you know, I'm in deep thought. I'm in those moments where I have some time to to just unwind and from work, and I can finally do my hobbies. But those moments. Those moments didn't happen all the time. You know, I was working. Sometimes I'd work overtime, and a lot of the times I wouldn't get very much time to just, you know, decompress and think about life and think about think about things and actually observe where I'm at and where I want to go. I didn't have that time because I was busy. And I think that's why a lot of us get stuck in these, in these situations in our lives where we feel miserable and we feel like we just want something different. Like, we feel like maybe we've made the wrong decisions, maybe we've made the wrong choices. And maybe if we'd made a different decision along the way, maybe things would have turned out differently. And, I'm going to go ahead and switch to another segment. This video is getting long. Okay, sorry about that. This might be a longer vlog, but I don't care. I kind of just want to make... I just kind of wanted to speak my mind, because that quote really made me think, you know. Just really made me put things into per into perspective. Um, So when I look back, it's like, uh, I mean, I know that looking back in the past, looking back now, is it's not going to change anything. Like, it's not going to change what happened, obviously. Um, but also, it's, it's kind of a good thing to look back sometimes because then you can prepare yourself for what is to come and hopefully not repeat history. Um, and, um, I just kind of want it. I just love that quote. Um, life is, life makes more sense when you stop and observe. I just think of that for a moment. Like, life makes more sense when you stop and observe.
like um okay so when you're doing something that you enjoy usually time feels like it goes by faster and um when you do something you don't enjoy so much sometimes time seems to drag and it just feels like man this ain't time ain't going by fast enough it's I, I don't like doing this thing I, whether it's a chore whether you're doing dishes or whether you're like mowing the yard or if you're like at your day job or you just you hate it you just you just want to go home and you're just like I don't like it here. I, I, I don't like doing this thing. I'd, I'd rather just get it done over with. And sometimes, you know, sometimes it's a breeze. You can get it done and over with. But there are some days where it just feels like it's too much of a chore. And you're already mentally exhausted. And you're already on the verge of breaking down. Um, and you just feel like... And I, I, I would rather be anywhere else but here right now. It's okay to feel that way. It's okay. It's, it's natural. Um, what isn't natural is working your life away. And what is, what isn't natural is doing these weird hours and. Um, you know, just feeling miserable day in and day out. Some, you know, you feel like you're, you've lost your passion in life, and that's not natural. Like, that's not. Society wasn't built on the principles of, of nature. Um, it just, it just it wasn't, it's, I like to think of our society as a synthetic society. Like, like, it is, like, it's, everything made out of, from the society is, is synthetic. Like, it's, it's materialistic, it's synthetic, it's, it's not natural, it's, it goes for every aspect of the so-called society that we live in. Um, if you're in a developed country, like, the more synthetic things are. Like, that's just the way it is. Sometimes the only way to get away from that is to go out in nature and to just find yourself. And, um, That's when I feel like I, I, maybe I should do that again. Maybe I should just go out and go to parks and stuff. And I feel like my vlogs are much deeper, and I feel like they're more like I feel like I can think more clearly when I'm in, when I'm in a space like that. And I feel like maybe I should have made this vlog kind of out, you know, out in a place like that. But I don't know. Like I, I feel like I'm doing all right. Hopefully. I'm just kind of rambling, but it's basically what this is. It's just a ramble type video. It's not really meant to go anywhere. It's just hopefully I, I make some of you think think about things a little bit more and help you, you know, because it helps me. It helps me. It definitely helps me process my thoughts. And, um, usually when I'm out in nature, like, I stop and I observe things much easier. I find it easier to observe things. Like, I find it easier to just take it slow, slow down, and just take in the view and look at, look at the birds flying in the sky and watch the insects flying by, uh, Sometimes I'll take my camera and I'll take pictures of plants and stuff, plant life and insects up close. Um, really, 
it really, I feel like I observe things a lot, a lot more closely when I'm out in nature. I've, and uh, maybe I should do that more when I'm, you know, out and about in like a neighborhood or something. And that's what that guy was talking about when I watched his video. It was like, just taking a walk down your neighborhood sometimes it might not solve everything, but at least you'll, you know, at least you'll feel a little bit better, maybe, hopefully. Taking a walk can do wonders, not just for your physical health, but your mental health. And I mean, it doesn't have to be a long walk, like a half an hour walk at most, maybe. Um, just walk around. Um, just walk in one direction. That's what I used to do when I, when I was a kid. When I was in my angsty teen years and I didn't want to be stuck in my parents' house and I was just like, you know, I hate this shit. I just want to get out. I want to be anywhere but here. And I would, I would get out and I would just walk in one direction. And I realized uh, my walks would get longer and longer. One day I walked so far that I walked 10 miles in one day. Like, no joke. Like, this was my average walking distance back then. It was 10 miles per day. Maybe longer. Some, sometimes I... One time I walked all the way from farmlands all the way to Parker City. And these are little towns, okay, so... That was almost the length of our entire county. Um, that was like a five-hour walk. One way. Well, maybe both ways. But I started that walk in early afternoon. And by the time I got back home, the sun was setting. It tells you how long that walk was. Um, sometimes I would listen to music. I would just listen to music and I would just... i take in nature. As soon as I would get out of town, I'd just take in nature and I would just look at the cars passing by or I would look at... It allowed me to decompress. I felt like when I was in town, I was just very, like, uh, enclosed. And uh, I just felt, like, very anxious and very enclosed and... I still kind of get that way sometimes, like, it's just, sometimes I'll get cabin fever. It's not nearly as bad as it used to be, but sometimes I'll get cabin fever every once in a while, and just, I'll need to get out and go to a park or something, go visit family, do something other than being stuck in the house. Um, that usually helps. Um, it just usually helps my mental state. But yeah, um, I find that I want to kind of live by the quote a little bit more. I feel like sometimes, and lately, I've been getting bad about just avoiding people. Except my family, you know. But, like strangers, like I went to the gym today and usually most of the days when I go to the gym, I just do my thing. You know, I'm, I'm in the zone, I, I do my workouts, I'm out, I have the gym and I'm doing some other errands and I... Even when I'm at the store getting things and I just, I go, 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 I get what I need and I get out. I come back home.
but um, it feels like it feels like uh, it just feels closed off living like that. I know a lot of people do that anyways. But that's part of the reason why everyone feels so closed off. It's because we don't observe what's around us as much as we probably should. Hmm. People are usually on their on their smartphones or their focusing on a task or something and they're not particularly focusing on people around them very much um, I mean, I'm guilty of that myself sometimes I think we all are but it's just like uh, you don't know you just don't know other people's mannerisms or how a person is, their personality, if you don't pay attention to them. Like, it's just, that's just the way it is. Like, we're not telepathic. We're not, we can't read people's minds. We have to communicate. We have to talk to somebody to figure out what's going on with them. Or figure out who they are as a person. You can't. You can't just. And yes, you can message somebody. You can text them, but you don't get the nuances of the conversation when you message. You don't get when you do like a FaceTime or a phone call. You don't get even just a phone call. It's like. Seeing somebody face to face is a totally different experience. But, you know, even FaceTime doesn't get to that point where you're you're face to face with somebody. Like it's just That's what the world is lacking. It's just a lot of, uh, a lot of miscommunication and a lot of, um, a lot of loneliness. A lot of loneliness. And that's why a lot of people are lonely. Because We're not getting that. We're not getting the face-to-face -face connections. And it's becoming more apparent as technology takes over. The so-called synthetic society is closing down on everybody that inhabits it. It's like a giant hive mind that wants to keep you ensnared in its trap. <laughs> I don't want to sound like a conspiracy theorist or a nutcase, but that's, that's basically what's happening. That's why the world is becoming devoid of human connection and interaction. We're not stopping to observe life. We're observing life through a telescope. Which is, you know, social media technology. We're observing life artificially rather than organically. We're not stopping to observe our surroundings when we walk around the neighborhood. 
we're watching our phones as we walk sometimes. We are cyber zombies. I just want you, the viewer, viewers, to think of that, that last line, all of what I just said, and really take it to heart. Because the world is, is getting more, getting more and more closed off. place to end it. I mean, this video's gone on long enough, and I don't want to make it too long. But, um, yeah, um, not really much more that I can really say. But anyways, Hopefully you got something valuable out of this lengthy vlog. I know it's a little bit long, but I don't know, I just felt like talking about talking about this today. Like sometimes you just have something eating at you that you just wanna talk about. You just wanna get it out there. Get it off your chest. And that's I just felt like I had to do that today. Um, I know this is a bit of a serious video and a bit, a bit intense, <laughs> um, but like it's true, like it's, you know, I started looking out for our fellow human beings, you know. If we're not here for each other, then what's the point of living this life? It's like we really only have ourselves. We really have each other. Like that's all there is to it. Like, what do you have if you don't have friends or family or any anybody? Yeah, you have yourself. Um, you really want to go on living with yourself forever. I mean, you can if you want to, but it's not what I want. Anyways, I'm going to end this video here. It's been going on long enough, um, but I just want to provide some lightheartedness just to kind of take away the tension a bit but you know I, I mean I, I'm here to listen like like I'm if you're going through a rough time in your life like feel for you um and like i said i love you guys I love you as a human being um but anyways i'm just gonna go ahead and end it here um hopefully i'll see you in the next video um until then, you take care, and uh, hopefully you
Hopefully you have a good day.